hello all good evening so today we are here to learn about the pythagoras theorem so we can solve so many problems by using the pythagoras theorem so before starting the proof for the pythagoras theorem i wanted to tell you the two definitions so here you will see the one right angle triangle so the right angle triangle which have 90 degrees of angle okay and the next one is the hypotenuse and the hypotenuse will have only in the right angle triangle and the hypotenuse is exactly opposite to the um, right angle that means uh, opposite to the 90 degrees okay and here if you will see the statement of the pythagoras theorem in a right angle in a in a right triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sets means the right angle triangle the square of the hypotenuse means ac square is equal to the sum of the other squares of the other two sets means ac square is equal to ab square ab square plus bc square so here we need to prove of this one ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square okay so for this uh, we will have to con we will have to construct so for the construction we will draw one straight line exactly from the vertex of the b so we will point this as a d so if you will see the if you will see here you will get uh, the perpendicular line this one is a perpendicular line and this exactly divides the a and c so if you will see here uh, the bd is a perpendicular line to a and c so so we have to prove this one right so to get the ab we have to um, select the triangles which has the common side as a ab we have to select the two triangles which has a common side of the ab okay if you will observe here we have three triangles first one is abc triangle and the second one is abd triangle and the third one is bdc triangle okay to get the ab we have to select the two triangles which are the which are have the common uh, side of the a and b okay is that possible yes it's possible just see here first we have to draw the two right angle triangles and if you will see here uh, the side of the ab is the one side for a b d triangle and a b c triangle okay so if you observe these two triangles um, the angle of a is not changed okay so we have to mark this as a, a. so in the a b d triangle uh, so it will also make 90 degrees right so in the triangle of a b d the 90 degrees is at d so the right angle is at d and the next one is a d b so we will mark this as a b and in the next triangle a b c so the angle is a here and the uh, 90 degrees is at b right so this will mark as a b and this is the c you will see here this is the 90 degrees and this is the 90 degrees so here the angle of d equal to angle of b equal to 90 degrees okay and the angle of ar same okay these are same so if you will observe this this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees so the triangle of a d b and the triangle of uh, a b c is 90 degrees okay here we know that uh, the the one the one element which has the 90 degrees we have to represent in the middle okay this is well known fact and a is the same so based on these two conditions we will say that these two triangles are similar triangles okay we are proving the pythagoras theorem based on the based on the similarity of the triangles okay by these two conditions we will say that these two triangles are similar okay and the similarity of the triangles we will know that the base by hypotenuse okay so here we will go for the base is what is ad and hypotenuse is ab and in this triangle ab is the base and ac is the hypotenuse so don't confuse here uh, here the hypotenuse will become base here if you will observe ab is the hypotenuse here and ab is the base here okay so if you will do the cross multiplication ac 
and AD, AB into AD. This means AC into AD equal to AB square. So mark this as a equation one. Okay, we got AB square. Okay, next we want to uh, we want we will do the proof for BC. So for the BC we will do the same. Means uh, we will select the two triangles which are the same side of BC. So that is that is possible by selecting selecting the ABC triangle and BDC triangle. Okay. So here so this is the proof, right? So here we will go for the next one. Here we will go for the two triangles. So here, the which angle is not changing, C is not changing, right? So we'll mark this as C. And if you we'll observe this triangle, B, B, C, D is the right angle triangle. So we make this as a D. Okay? And this as the D. So this is the 90 degrees. And here, C, and here B is the 90 degrees, right? So B, and this is A. So here, if we'll observe, the angle of D is equal to angle of B equal to 90 degrees. So as we can as we know that right how we written here. So in the same way we have to return means uh, C D B equal to and A B C equal to 90 degrees. Okay. Now the angle C is same. So here also by these two conditions we will say that the, these two triangles are in similar. They are similar. So by using the similarity theorem, you can write base DB by hypotenuse BC and the next base BC divided by hypotenuse AC. Okay, by doing the cross multiplication, we will get DC and AC equal to BC square. Okay. Mark this as the equation 2. Okay, if you will observe this uh, equation 1 and equation 2, mm, we get uh, AB and BC. Okay, what we have to prove? We have to prove the addition. We have to prove the addition, right? Now we have to add the equation 1 and equation 2. Okay, uh, first the equation 1 is AC. AD equal to AB square. This is the equation one. And the second equation is uh, DC and AC, DC into AC BC square. This is the second equation. So we have to add this to equations, right? So what is this AC AD plus DC AC equal to AB square plus bc square so here we will take ac as a common then we will remain with ad plus dc equal to ab square plus bc square so if you will observe our, our main diagram so here we will have that ad plus dc is ac right see here ad this one and dc this one means ac okay so same will have here ac ad plus dc is ac equal to ab square plus bc square means ac square ab square plus bc square so we got the equation this is the pythagoras theorem proof and uh, by using this uh, theorem and by using this equation we can solve so many problems and thank you